This has probably happened to you. You come across a video, maybe of someone levitating some tinsel with a tin pan, and you're like, oh my god, that is amazing. How is that happening? And so you do some re research and find out that it has to deal with electromagnetism. And you're like, you know what? I want to learn about electromagnetism. So you get a textbook about it. And then you're punched in the face with, boom, a whole bunch of math. You're like, oh my god, what's going on? So you might run into the Maxwell equations, but you're like, what are the Maxwell equations? What's this upside down triangle doing here? What's this weird looking like six thing? So what's going on here? So you probably do what I do. You Google it. Okay, what's going on here? How is this working? What's this M? You know, is that meter? What's a kg? Is that a kilogram? Or no, is K something else? Calvin? What's S? So you want to figure out all these different things to it. So you do all this other research and you finally understand the Maxwell equations and all these different terms. But then you start going through the chapter again. You're like, okay, oh my God, what's Gauss's law? What's this, little, what's this snake thing with the V at the end of it? What's this D cubed? Like, what is that? So then you have to Google this and understand all of these different parts to Gauss's law. Now, this probably happens a lot. Stop and go, stop and go, because you're always trying to figure out what is going on. Now, why is this happening? Well, it's happening because you skip so many subject levels that you literally have to look up every single thing you come across in this electromagnetism book. So if you jump to probably any page, you can see you're, you're dealing with a whole bunch of different equations left and right. And you're like, my lord, what is going on here? So in order to prevent all of this additional learning, because you're not even really learning about electromagnetism per se, you're learning all this different math and concepts that are going on in order for you to understand what's on a specific page. And that's it, right? So you have to learn the fundamental subjects. So for electromagnetism, probably calculus, differential equations, some basic physics, you know, to understand the ideas behind it. So when you start going through the electromagnetism textbook, you're like, whoa, okay, th these are some new ideas, some new equations, but I know how these equations work. I know what that symbol means. I know what that snake means. It's an integral. So you know what all these different terms mean for the most part. All you're doing are getting some new ideas that connect to old ideas, some new math symbols that fit into equations and ideas you already know from calculus and differential equations. So that's why it's really important to not skip so many subject levels because you're learning so much more information than you need to at that specific time. It's going to take you 10 times longer to learn about electromagnetism if you just get a textbook about it no, compared to just going through all the basic subjects first, then eventually getting to electromagnetism because everything's going to make much more sense. Everything's going to be built off each other. That is more effective and efficient way of learning than just trying to get a textbook and trying to learn it from scratch. And I'm guilty of this. And that's why I made this video to tell you because I'm reading a textbook, Pathophysiology. It's how the body reacts when it gets a whole bunch of diseases to it, you know, like the different mechanisms, all that great jazz. And so, I, I kid you not, every page for the most part has all of these like blue vocabulary words or blue ideas, you know, concepts. And so I'm going through, I'm like, oh my God, I have no idea what's going on. Like, what's this concept? What's the vocabulary word? Oh, I have to know all this stuff. Oh my God, great. Now I have to like, you know, review all this vocabulary because everything is being built off it. You know, letter chapters are talking about, you know, oh yeah, reference chap chap chapter one to know about ATP and how that works. And so I'm like, oh crap, I should probably just know how it works. And so I'm really running into all these problems because I didn't take you no know, biology or pathology or physiology. If I took all those different subjects first and then studied pathophysiology, it would be so much easier because I'd be like, oh yeah, I know that. Oh yeah, I know how that you know, mechanism works. Everything would make more sense. So I'm not overwhelmed by, man, nothing makes sense. Everything is brand new to me. So I've spent all this extra time trying to understand what is going on here. So don't skip subject levels if you can help it. It's, it's really better just to build from those basic subjects 
and one after another, you get a better understanding. Things get connected. It's easier to remember because you can relate all these things that you're learning now to the old concepts. Like, oh yeah, you know, electromagnetism, that's kind of like how you know gravity works or the equations are very similar. So you make that connection so it's so much easier to remember. So that is my lesson to you because I was having a hard time with that pathophysiology and I'm still having a hard time like, oh, there's so much to it. So I just don't want you to make the same mistakes by thinking, hey, I'm really interested in this topic. Let me just go at that topic and anything that comes up, I'll learn at the same time because it doesn't work that way. It's so much harder to try to learn five subjects at once instead of just focus on, okay, let me learn calculus one. What's going on here? Oh, okay, I got that. Boom, good. I can do all those equations now. Okay, calculus two. Oh, now I could do a little bit more physics too. So maybe I could do calculus two and physics because my physics will be a great way to see how math is actually applied in the real world. So that is a better approach to learning. So take my word for it and you'll be so thankful that you didn't skip subject levels.